That's going to be huge. And it can impact so many people. So I'm really excited about that. Um, last few questions. Um, <coughs> this is like kind of the three questions I have for everyone I'm interviewing. And um, it may apply to you, may not, but let's just ask them. If you were right now to be standing in front of your 20 year old self, let's just say I'm you, 20 years old, and you're now you right now with the mind you have, what would you say to yourself in a few sentences? So you don't have an hour, you just have like two, three minutes. What would you say to yourself? What would you, what's the piece with of advice? what I know now? Yes. I would get into network marketing. Hmm. I've never been in it, but I do a lot of work around it. I think it's one of the most phenomenal areas for a young person to get in and build a great organization. They don't have to have any money, but they've really got to apply themselves. They say only two or three percent win in network marketing. Well, that's true in every industry. But there's the opportunity to build a great organization with no money. And you can help a lot of people. And that will that will make That's what it's all else. about. Like you're helping millions of people with this. Our company made a commitment. We're building schools in Africa. We build a new school every week and a half. Our company does. Uh, our goal is to build one every week. And then every every day. We're just we're out a week and a half right now. And like you're doing that, like so many That's, amazing people yeah. are, are just doing the same things and it makes no sense to the ordinary person. Like, why would you give your money to build schools for people when Tony Robbins is feeding 30 million people, when you are building schools every week? When... You see, if I were 20 again, and no one I know now, I would get into something where I could grow, where I could serve other people and earn profit doing it. Hmm. You've got to earn money. Profit is the first order of business. If you're not earning profit, you're on your way out of business. But that's not the purpose of any human organization. The purpose of all human organizations is to make life more meaningful. So you got to earn a profit to keep the company growing. But the purpose is to make life more meaningful. If we take all the people out of this building, you don't have a hotel any longer. You've just got a building full of stuff. The hotel is the people. The employees. That's what I would do. Powerful. Okay. Um, this one is I, I got I always get fascinating answers on. Um, do you have any regrets for your life? No, absolutely not. I'll tell you. I probably would have said yes 15, 20 years ago. Then what happened? I was watching Johnny Carson's show, hmm. The Late Show, and Johnny Carson wasn't there. George Carlin, the comedian, was sitting in for him. And they're both dead now. Vincent Price, a movie actor, was a guest. He's gone too. But Vincent Price had just shot a pilot. And of course, they told the public on television it's a new series. Well, it wasn't a new series at all. They were hoping it would turn into a new series. They shot a pilot. If they got good ratings, then they'd shoot a dozen more of them. Right. And so after they went through the small talk, Carlin says to him, well, tell me, Vince, Vincent, tell me about our new, your new series. And Vince says, oh, I think everybody's going to love it. He said, it's about a train. And it's like a magic train. It's even by a ticket to go back in your life. Hmm. I would pay for that. At any point, you want to start over. And he said, when you get there, I'm the conductor on the train. I stopped the train, I let you off. And he said, I think everybody would like to go back and start over at some point, don't you think so? I thought, yeah, I could think of a couple of things where I could have started over. George Carlin said, no, I don't think so. He said, if I went back and changed anything that had happened in my life, I wouldn't be me. And I like me. I thought, God, what a perfect answer. No regrets. 
everything that happened was necessary to make me who I am, to prepare me, prepare me to do what I'm going to do. And you see, the crazy part about it, none of us know what we're going to do. We think we know. Right. We got a track, but things happen. Because people have regrets. I mean, if you want to go to nursing home and just feel that for a half, for a minute, if you look into their eyes, you can see there's regret. Well, most people do, but most people don't do anything. You see, I often say, how do you do something? Well, there's where the goals come in. That's where the purpose for life comes in. You gotta have a main purpose. You gotta have a purpose for life. And you've gotta have meaningful goals. They've gotta be meaningful. You're trading your life for it. Hmm. Like I often say in a seminar, I want you to imagine you're at the end of the road. And you know you're at the end of the road. Your body's so weak, they've got you tied in a wheelchair. Or they've got you in a crib bed. So you don't follow. Yourself. Right. Just imagine, all you can do is relive your life. I want you to imagine you're there and you go back and think, God, I wonder if we had a move there, what would have happened? If we had started that company, remember we we're going to sell the house and start that company. If we had it done this, I wonder what would have happened. And then, God, if I can only do it over again. Wouldn't that be terrible? Spend the last days of your life like that? Wouldn't it be better if you look back and say, wow, what a trip. Gotta remember we did that. Remember we blew our brains out on that. We lost everything we had. But you know, when you lose it big enough, it can be accelerating. And then we did this. And what you're doing is laying there and you're reliving your whole life. And that's the goal. You gotta have the goal. With that being said, if there's something you can do right now is get the book, stay updated. When the movie goes up and it goes live, watch it. I like, there's a saying on all of your seminars, on the tickets, uh, if you have to borrow money for this, do it. It may be the last oh, time yeah. you're doing it. Listen, wow. when, I, when I read this, I owed everybody I knew money. But the guy that told me, he said, don't clean offices for somebody else, do them for yourself. And he told me where I could buy a used floor machine and some buckets and mops. It was going to cost $980. I mean, I didn't know anyone would lend me money because I never paid them back. Not that I didn't want to, I just never had any money. Well, I searched and searched and searched and I found a guy that lent me $1,000. So when somebody tells me they can't borrow money, I know that they haven't tried. I think anybody can borrow a thousand dollars somewhere, and that's what I did, and I turned it into a multi-million dollar organization. I sat down one day with my pen in this business, I said, I'm going to build a company that operates all over the world. We operate all over the world.